Now here I'm going to discuss a very, very interesting question based on the slope of a line. Uh, question is here saying, this is actually the question of a physics, but we are dealing in this straight line, uh, straight line uh, chapter. A ray of light passing through the point 1, 2 reflects on the x-axis at a point A. And the reflected uh, ray it is reflected ray passes through the point 5 comma 3 then find the coordinates of a first let's try to pictureize that uh, pictureize the problem then the, the question will be very easier all right so uh, it is something like this now uh, this is our y-axis this is our x-axis okay and as the question is saying a ray of light passing through the point 1 2 okay so we have a point uh, let's say this is 1 comma 2 right uh, so let make uh, let's make first a ray all right the ray is coming to the x-axis all right like this and then the ray gets reflected back like this the ray got reflected back like this okay and while reflecting back uh, it is passing through the point 5 comma 3 let's say this is point uh, 5 comma 3 okay so ray is coming and uh, it is uh, interacting at the point uh, let's say a uh, the coordinate let's say this is at comma zero since it is in x-axis this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis this is our origin zero comma zero okay and now see the ray is coming uh, let me uh, let me give this point p a ray, ray p a is coming all right and then ray p q goes away all right ray is coming and ray is going and now find the coordinates of a we need to find the coordinates of a so for that we need to draw the perpendicular all right let's draw here the perpendicular all right let's say this is uh, perpendicular n a all right n a is perpendicular here so uh, now we know a rule in uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, reflection of light there we had learned that angle of incidence angle of incidence is always always and always equal with angle of reflection so angle of incidence i equals to is theta and here angle of reflection is r is also theta all right and this complete is 90 degree okay so this must be 90 minus theta degree all right because this is theta degree and this complete is 90 degree so this must be 90 minus theta all right and now we have written everything now let's try to solve this problem so uh, what we are going to do here first we'll find out the slope of this P A line slope of this P A line we'll find out mm, slope of this 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 P A line we'll find out and we'll get the slope in the form of H and again we'll find out the slope of this uh, A Q line and then again we'll get the slope in the form of H so we'll get one relation from here and one relation from here and using those both relation we can find the value of H all right so first I'm writing here slope of uh, uh, ray slope of ray P A Again, we know that that is difference of y coordinate over difference of x coordinate because we know the two points. We know point one that is one and two, and another point adds two. So y two minus y one, y two minus y one, that is two minus zero, and x two minus x one, that is one minus h. All right, one minus h. So our slope uh, uh, is going to be now two over one minus h, and the angle made by this uh, P A is this much. And that is actually 90 plus theta all right so it is tan 90 plus theta tan 90 plus theta it is you know uh, the slope of the ray if you see that is angle made by the pa is this much is 90 degree and this is theta degree. so 90 plus theta and tan 90 plus theta is a minus of cot theta so finally what we get our cot theta is going to be now 2 over minus 2 over 1 minus h all right now again let's focus on uh, the line this aq okay slope of aq now see here slope of aq is uh, equals to again y2 minus y1 difference of y coordinate over difference of x coordinate all right so uh, again difference of y coordinate that is uh, y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 over x2 minus x1 5 minus h all right 5 minus h and the slope of the aq if you see the angle made by this is 90 minus theta all right so it will be tan 90 minus theta and tan 90 minus theta is cot theta so cot theta here we're getting 3 over 5 minus h and now see here we get the two relationship you know cot theta we get here from first relation minus 2 over 1 minus h and again here we get cot theta equals to 
second relation we get 3 over 5 minus h so we can equate this and we can get the value of this all right uh, equating 1 and 2 what we'll get minus 2 over 1 minus h is equal with 3 over 5 minus h now let's solve this and let's get the value of h so when it will multiply it will be minus 10 plus 2h and you'll get here 3 minus 3h all right so i'm putting this 3h uh, right hand side so i'll get this 2h plus 3h and this 10 when we'll go right hand side it will be uh, 10 plus 3 right so i'm going to get now here 3 plus uh, that is 5h equals to 13 therefore my h is going to be 13 over 5 and i got the point and the point is 13 over 5 comma 0 so the point of inter interaction of the of the uh, ray pa is is uh, is a that is 13 comma 5 so the point where the reflection took place on the axis x axis is 13 uh, 13 over 5 comma 0 all right this is how we need to find out this type of the problem i hope you understand it